If you think along the lines of how much kudos is held by a chartered accountant or a chartered architect, or chartered surveyor, we're all familiar with those words, but we're not familiar with chartered physicists. But it acts in exactly the same way. It shows that you have passed through a process which has agreed with you that you've reached a certain professional standard and then you can call yourself a, a career uh, professional as opposed to just holding a physics degree. We recently introduced an online application system for CFIS and this replaces the old paper uh, application system. And the aim is to really reduce the physical barriers to entry by simplifying the process, by making it clear uh, what information needs to be provided at each stage. I think the Chartered Physicist accreditation in my career has helped me in a number of different ways. I think firstly, um, it's enabled me to plot, my, plot the career, um, to look through areas which I need to improve on um, by looking through the competencies and it's given me a framework and a, a, and a set of tools to actually make myself the best I can be in order to be more employable. Um, but I also think that it's, um, it's a really recognised, it shows the science community that you have a, uh, a level of understanding and you have the, this high um, professional standard and that you have, you're, you, they're able to give you that uh, quality of work knowing that you're able to get it done. In order to apply for Chartered Physicist, I think the best start is to Google IOP Chartered Physicist and that will come up with a route plan for you to follow and you can easily see what you need to do and what qualifications you need to have. You don't necessarily need a degree, there are many options for your access point to starting on the process for getting chartered physicist and that diagram leads you very easily through it. The majority of the benefits uh, of achieving chartered physicist status are intangible. Uh, they really help you with your own career development in that thinking about your own skills, your own gaps and how you're going to address those uh, really helps bring your own development to the fore. You are also signing up to a code of conduct stating that you'll maintain your professional development and it's something that we will uh, ask you to revalidate every three years. So this ensures that you're really at the forefront of physics knowledge and keeping that up to date. It shows that you are of the highest standard of professionalism. It is time consuming and it can be difficult to get the application and make sure that you have the set competencies. Um, but it's reassuringly difficult. It's supposed to show how good you are. It's provided me with jobs which are very complex um, and can be highly pressurised and are very important roles and I don't think I would have ever gotten, gotten that without those accreditations, without working hard to get them. You can email or call the Institute of Physics and they will give advice on various aspects of your application. You can go on a mentoring scheme if you feel that you would like help filling in the application form. Um, because I say it can look a bit daunting when you look at it at first and somebody who's already done it can talk you through it, give you a little bit of confidence that what you're doing is right. It's a bit like having your passport application checked at the post office before you send it off. And then when the application goes through, you can put it through knowing that um, somebody has looked at it before the people who are actually going to be judging it have seen it. I think that looking at your competencies um, using um, the competency list from the IOP website will allow you to um, um, look at areas that you're weak that you might need to push forward um, and, uh, and literally look at the tasks and the activities you do in your career and work out whether it's a significant responsibility and whether you've done it for an extended period of time. And I think if you can think about those tasks and say, yes, I believe this to be responsible uh, of, a, of a high level and I think it's been done over an extended period of time, then I think you're ready to go.